final episode of the Mitchell and Webb comedy with a mysterious edge, and Andrew has a bizarre reaction when his fellow foster kids attend a memorial for Lori. Naturally, his unease only makes Stephen more determined to find out whether the self-styled prodigal son has something to hide. Cue a stint in the library, where he makes a shock discovery. A strong ending to what has been a darkly comic series, and one that leaves the door ajar for another run. Hannah J. Davies' Billion Dollar Deals and How They Changed Your World 8 p.m. BBC2 Jacques Peretti concludes his series by looking at how the concept of work has changed, with more sophisticated management surveillance and leisure time increasingly under siege. Although the rise of AI could mean we all have a great deal of free time, who determined this new culture Peretti does a good job of restraining himself as he interviews cold-eyed visionaries such as former management consultant Tom Peters. David Stubbs, The Apprentice 9 p.m., BBC One The entitled gaggle of Besuta Chumpery faces its second challenge from synth to tennis ball and Errol's Alan Sugar. Interior design is the name of the tired-feeling game, as the bickering soon-tub Foxton's employees set out to make sweets in a five-star hotel nicer than they already are. They encounter, and then blame each other for, various DIY snags along the way, before one twerp is sent unceremoniously packing, entertaining hate watch fodder, weaponized. Luke Holland The Detective's Murder on the Streets 9 p.m., BBC Two concluding episode of this absorbing look at the work of the Greater Manchester Police as they pursue murder investigations. Tonight, the team are preparing to bring to trial their prime suspects in the murder of a homeless man. Their investigations lead to another case, no less dreadful at a homeless shelter they visit. One of the residents has just confessed another murder, at nearby student accommodation, to horrified staff. Andrew Mueller and Oroskov 10.35 p.m., Channel 4 Even in the reputed social democratic paradise of Scandinavia, it seems there are left-behind places. One of these is the industrial port of Norskov in Denmark, where Detective Tom Nowak is a man going back to his roots. He's also a cop on a mission, to clean up the town's drug problem at the behest of the mayor, a childhood friend. In no familiar Walter Present style, the whole series will be available once this first episode has transmitted. Jonathan Wright Chris Ramsey's Stand Up Central 10 p.m. Comedy Central Camden's Electric Ballroom hosts another rapid-fire comedy blitz, with Northern Lad Ramsey clearly relishing his recent promotion to Master of Ceremonies. After putting the crowd at ease with an entertainingly wayward Aussie impression, Ramsey introduces compressed sets from rising motormouth Marlon Davis and beloved numbskull Lee Nelson, a delusional poser whose swanky suit still has the security tag visibly attached. Graham Virtue 999 on the front line 9 p.m., more for there are so many programs of this sort that it seems possible that more people are making documentaries about the emergency services than working for them. This, like many of the others, is nevertheless predictably gripping, following the ambulance crews of the West at Midlands, whose working day is a cavalcade of life-altering drama for the public they meet. Tonight, these include a cyclist felled by an angry dog, and a man trapped by a broken leg. AM Film Choice Lock Stephen Knight, 2013 Wednesday, 12.40 AM, film for Steve Knight's gripping drama is set entirely inside a BMW on the motorway, the camera fixed on construction manager Ivan Locke Tom Hardy. His air of calm control slowly erodes in a series of phone calls. His wife, Katrina, voiced by Ruth Wilson and kids expect him home in London to watch football, while Beth and Olivia Coleman, a woman he once slept with, tells him she's about to have his baby. Meanwhile, his building project is rapidly going pear-shaped. Paul Hallett Fever Asav I. Jean Luc Godard, 1962 Wednesday, 2.20 a.m., film for this early work from one of the masters of the French New Wave is the story of Nana, a beautiful Parisian prostitute and frustrated actor. It is also the great Sinaste's portrait of his then-wife, Anna Karina, who plays Nana. In Goddard's typical formulaic style, the action unfolds through twelve titled chapters, in which Nana lives her life splitting with her partner philosophizing with Sage Bryce Perrain about language and thought and breaking into spontaneous, daft, jukebox dance. It's a weighty, playful and brilliant exercise in verite. PH Starship Troopers Paul Verhoeven, 1997 10 p.m., sci-fi based on a Robert A. Heinlein novel, this is a clever, funny updating of 50 sci-fi B-movies. Verhoeven drops Robocop's armor-plated irony in favor of a deadpan picture of a fascist future world in which youngsters happily go to war. The film's real attraction is pure, visceral violence pretty kids fighting giant, mutated bugs in medieval space combat. Denise Richards, Casper Van Dien and Neil Patrick Harris are among the troopers. PH Live Sport Tennis The Shanghai Masters 6 a.m. Sky Sports Main Event Coverage of the third day's play from China Cycling Tour of Turkey 1 p.m. Eurosport 1 
the second stage of the road race, journeying from Cum Luca to Fithi. Speedway SGB Premiership 7.30 p.m. BT Sport 1. The second leg of the promotion and relegation deciding Premiership playoff, 